Hey folks, welcome back to the third Let's Play of Tacoma. We are at a Jello Alert level zero and a Ghost Alert level zero. We are going to look at the bottles. They're not going to do me much. Can I throw them down? No, I guess I can't. There's nothing really of value here that I can see. There's scrubbies. Water not really working. Not really full of spray. Let's go to her AR. Oh, that's right. We looked at her AR. We did look at her AR. Oh, that's right. I forgot about all this. So, I don't think there's anything we missed. I think we found it all, so we're going to go back in here. The cool thing is, what this looks like is, I'm still missing. There's a question mark on one. I wonder if that's over here, if I'm still in the same section over here. Am I? Is there something else I'm missing? Let's fast forward it. Okay, so, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe we need to follow her. Oh. All right, ladies, you have everything you need? Yep, oh. All right, we're gonna follow her out. Maybe she's I'm got some. Come on, Evie, what are you doing? Clive, Matt, come in. Eight months? <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? That's a... Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Are you gonna miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? Yeah, come on. <laughs> That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're going to have to find themselves... Somewhere. Okay, I figured it out. They're back. That symbol is the symbol down below. It took me a long time. So we're going to rewind it and go back and see him. Because I think, obviously, he's the one we're missing. Let's go up here. All right, who's he talking to? With Tremaine Burgess, Carnival Cruise... Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if Carnival Cruise paid for an ad. Um, failed. Orbital Worker Union Local 1293. A message from the Orbital Hospitality and Logistics Union. Remember your rights. February 29, 2080 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities could be operated by human crew members. Historic Human Oversight Accord putting a halt to the obsolescence of these brave workers in the face of advancing automation. It is your legal right to celebrate this momentous event on the last day of February each year, no matter what your employer claims. Report any attempts at worker suppression to your OHLU local representation. On behalf of all your fellow union workers, happy obsolescence day. That's kind of an interesting thought. Banter, a guide for inspired social climber. Page 18 to 32. There's no need at the workplace to be humorless as a morgue undertakers aside. Make liberty part of your workday. Uh, shared references to keep things casual and do yourself to the higher-ups. Refer to them by amusing and informal phrases instead of boss. Memorable bond mots like fearless leader, skipper, or head honcho. There's always that one fellow, you know the type, who seems to forget his lunch more days than not and ends up buying the meatloaf from the company cafeteria. Well, oh, okay. We got everything then, I think. I think we're good to go on this one then. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. We didn't hear the last of his stuff. It's a carnival. I trust you got back to Terra for... It could be a tense time, as you know. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and it could be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to Terra Firma safely? No. You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that... 
Oh yes, come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol then? That's tremendous. Eight months. <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta -ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival. That is fantastic. I'm kind of liking. I like this. It's just confusing, and I, I have the worst memory, so that's always bad too. So I think, is there? I think we've gotten everything from this area. I think we need to move back. We're going to head out. I think that's it. I think we've explored everything we need to down here. Um, how are you down here? 100%. Oh, that's how you know if you've done 100% of the stuff. That is fantastic as well. All right, let's go back up to the hub then, folks. We're going. We're going to go here, kick some ass. Oh, whoa. All right, they're trying to tell me something. What are you telling me? From Ventura's technology, subcontract fair, please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process. As per your contract, time is of the essence with respect to this mission. Huh, okay. I always do that. I want to hit escape. That doesn't help, but I do it anyways. Let's get out of here. I'll see you up top, guys. All right, I think... Oh no, that's exactly what we did before. So I need to go to biomedical. So that's back down this way. Wah, wah. All right. Let's go to biomedical access. Oh God. We're going down. Oh look. Venturi Belt Orbital Vacation Bungalows. Newlyweds, new perspectives. That's a little different than the other one, isn't it? I think the other one had a guy with a guitar or something. All right, biomedical module. Let us first not see anything I need to worry about at least. Attention, subcontractor, AI data access here. Let's attach it again. This way we'll know what we're doing. Okay, now that I know how this works, I feel a little better. Biomedical. Medical or botany? Let's try medical first. Venturous technologies. Proceed the So proceed to exam room for your appointment. Tending physicians there. Oh, let's start. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right, good speed. Once more into the breach. Let's take a look oh. at that. First, message with Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data is formatted for the Zenith's AI use, not blah blah. Bert's gonna need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls. So, navigation code itself interpret the data and display its recommendation for optimal manual inputs for the pilot. She responded, exposed raw data for cross-references if needed? Yes. I understand. I'll prepare revision 2212 of the manual drone navigation control software. Emergency defect, cryogenic facilities active, two of six cryopods occupied, oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. All right. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But I just want to say I think you're really good station admin. No matter how I acted, I want you to know not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to see you on the other side. This user is offline. Oh. That's what? a lot of feeling. I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Oh. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they looked so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, 
What if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too... Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. That is incredibly cute. Did any of their stuff pop up? How can I? How can you not think about it? What? Oh, Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Nope, none of them did it. So I have to go up to Sarah. Let's go back up to Sarah. Alright. Let's go on back all the way, folks. Okay, Sarah. Oh, Odin. Alright. To all crew, Tacoma's remaining. To everyone left awake on the Tacoma station. I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the Al J Bloom and the Evie and Clive going into cryo, the counter should give you pretty good something. Keep an eye on it and something. Message with the Tal A Christian Cup. Hey ladies, your scads look good. You're cleared for cryo. If God forbid, into the pods attaching the same standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Cryogenic sleep, a patient's guide. In case of an emergency, me emer a medical emergency when surgical or other required medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by intravenous dosage of diuretics and laxatives and given time for your body to react to them before. Medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are microgravity, medical staff will have special training to adminuist bio. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. And fail. And fail. All right. Keep listing. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam. Let me see. Did she have something? Nope, she didn't. Okay. Some point. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's going to happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? We're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. 
Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. <laughs> That's because somebody's doing the nasty. All right, we're going to go out here because... Come on, let me in. We'll go back to wherever he's at. It's like playing a little game of tag with people. Oh. All right, here we go. Odin is Sarah. There we go. That's what. That's the last of it I'm looking for. Dear crew, from Evie St. James, I'd rather not be writing this. Clive and I. Not why I wish I weren't signing these words. It is because, above all, I believe in this crew, and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We'll breathe fresh air again. We'll see our families again. We'll feel Earth's pull again together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle in the cryo. Soon, Andrew will join us, enjoying us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. Couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Evie St. James and Clive Siddiqui. Uh, Andrew, information requested. Um, while Ventura strives to ensure safety of each of his contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In the case that a contractor dies, transport remains and field arrangements are paid for by Venturas. Loyalty and any additional Venturas accident insurance the contractors invested in are immediately transferred to contractor specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty continues to accrue for the contract term. Stay safe up there, and it is everyone's job to keep contractors and employees safe. Station message with Roberta Williams. The drone was never meant to support human life. There is no air supply system, no onboard controls at all. There is not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station. And I hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. Sorry, I thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but blah, 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 accident on the station. And if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I am sorry. Nicholas, I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together. But... Don't forget me. Know that I loved you more than any... Than I loved you more than... I'm sorry, Odin. I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Oh. 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 Are ready oh. for me? I will tell her that you are here. Excellent. I think we have it all. Excellent, excellent. excellent. So we're going to look around a little bit more. Personal quarters. Down to Sarah's personal quarters. All right. Well, hold on. Let me look at that. Before anything, JJ Pratt's image life. Followers, 2.4 million. The fees, this feed maintained in memory of JJ. Celebrated my last night in Terra Firma for a while. Love you, Charlene. Singapore, home of the ultimate hangover food. On my way up, never thought I'd see Earth from this height. Oh, this must be the one that died. Oh. Message with Odin. Unfortunately, the information you requested is defined as classified by Venturis, so I'm unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I am sorry, Sarah. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalia about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. Uh, no one other no on another facility, huh? Like if she was malfunctioning or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. I could try looking at VT's tech Arab ticket backlog for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Oh, she did get her to go look at it. I wonder if, I wonder if um, the V company, whatever, whatever it's called, VT, if they made everybody die. They probably did to cover it up. Corporate badness. 
A Good Day Odyssey to the Stars, Day 28, Spaceport City, Singapore. Up to Space Elevator, take my first trip ever up to Space Elevator to the Fountain of Paradise tomorrow. The glitz, the glamour, zero G, it's going to be incredible and all thanks to my loyal supporters. But first, I spend the day in the hustle and bustle Spaceport City and a lively jumble of improvised bun- bungalows, gray market vendors, and of course, those famous Singaporean food stalls that surround a Space's Elevator spectacular base tower. One last egg a day before I lift off from Terra Firma. Here we go. While Toast takes the center stage in his classic Singaporean street foods name, the real star of the show is the pair of perfectly runny, half-boiled eggs drizzled with, slather, and more good egg than dipped liberally. All right, that's pretty fantastic. So we're looking at this. I'm debating. Oh, we got time. We, we will we'll watch her whole thing and then move from there. Or is she just going to be there crying? Oh. Oh, that's all she did there. Okay. That kind of makes me sad. Ooh. Your personal AR yoga... Downward dog. Warrior 2. Okay. Scorpion pose. Downward dog. Okay, that's, well, sort of interesting. Can we fly out of space? Oh, you can close it. That's kind of cool. Now let's take a look at her bathroom. All right. So, folks, I think we're going to stop here. This is a good spot to stop. I'll see you next time. You know what? I'm kind of enjoying this game. Oh, this is kind of cool. But until next time, folks, take care.